The Lord be with you. This evening's service is for everyone, but especially for anyone who's not feeling joyous this Christmas. In fact, if you decide you'd like to wait and use this video on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day instead of jollier services that are available, that would be entirely appropriate. The first half of our service is based on a liturgy provided by our diocese, St Albans. We shall remember those we have lost, we shall acknowledge our own pain, and we shall pray for others. It may be that this will prompt tears, and that's okay. Be gentle with yourself. The second half of our service is a short Eucharist of spiritual communion. I invite you to take part in as much as you feel able to. If you prefer to stop the record, to stop watching uh, and participating before the Eucharist, that's fine. And I'll make it clear when to do that, when, when would be a good time to leave if you want to, to stop then. Um, I'm also just going to let you know now that during our service, I shall use three candles. And if you think you'd find it helpful to have your own candles, then you can fetch some in just a moment. You don't need to have them, but if, if you'd like to have them, I'm letting you know that that's going to happen. Um, and also, if you think you might need to fetch some tissues or anything, um, we're going to sing a hymn now. And this is also a time then, if you want to fetch three candles or some Kleenex or whatever. Um, and of course, you can also always press pause. Um, but let's let's begin then with this hymn, which is provided for us to use by St. Martin's Voices. We use it with permission. We do have a CCLI license 818930. So I have our first hymn.
let us pray. Holy God of Advent, you became weak so we could find strength in moments of heartbreak. You left the safety of heaven to wander the wilderness of the world, holding our hands when we feel so helpless. You set aside your glory to hold our pain so that we might be healed, even when it seems there is no hope. You became one of us, so we could never be alone in any moment, in any circumstance. So come now, child of Bethlehem, to strengthen us in these days. May we feel your presence in a way we have never known, not just as one born in a stable long ago and far away, but as one born in our hearts, in our hopes, in our spirits, in our weakness. You have promised to go before us into our brokenness, into hospital rooms, into empty houses, into graveyards, into our future held by our God. And you are here even now waiting for each one of us to serve us, to hold us, to comfort us, to live in us, now and forever. Amen. I hope there are words appearing on the screen and so I invite you to pray with me. For you, O oh God, our souls in silence wait. Truly, our hope is in you. Our first reading is from the prophet Isaiah. Comfort, O oh comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem, and cry to her that she has served her term, that her penalty is paid, that she has received from the Lord Adonai's hand double for all her sins. A voice cries out, In the wilderness prepare the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be lifted up, and every mountain and hill be made low. The uneven ground shall become level, and the rough places a plain. Then the glory of the Lord Adonai shall be revealed, and all people shall see it together, for the mouth of Adonai has spoken. A voice says, Cry out! And I said, what shall I cry? All people are grass. Their constancy is like the flower of the field. The grass withers, the flower fades when the breath of Adonai blows upon it. Surely the people are grass. The grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of our God will stand forever. Get you up to a high mountain, O Zion, Herald of good tidings, lift up your voice with strength, O Jerusalem, herald of good tidings. Lift it up, do not fear. Say to the cities of Judah, Here is your God. See, the Lord God comes with might, and his arm rules for him. His reward is with him, and his recompense before him. He will feed his flock like a shepherd. He will gather the lambs in his arms and carry them in his bosom and gently lead the mother sheep. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Matthew. At that time, Jesus said, 
come to me. All you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Sometimes we might feel like we don't want Christmas to come until we're ready for it. We might especially dread Christmas coming when it brings memories of happier times in the past which now seem far away. As Christians, though, we remember that God's coming didn't depend on us being ready. God took the initiative and came to us in the midst of life. In Jesus, God came to live a human life with ups and downs. As I said in our opening prayer, Jesus became weak so we could find strength in moments of heartbreak. Jesus became one of us, so we would never be truly alone. I haven't included it in the songs tonight, but when we sing Once in Royal David's City, there's that line, He feeleth for our sadness. As Christians, we read back into Old Testament prophecy and understand Jesus to have been a man of sorrows, familiar with grief. And pain. Moreover, we remember the prologue to John's Gospel, read every Christmas in church. Without him was not anything made that has been made. What that means is that he knows our needs, hears our cries, feels our pain, and heals our wounds although sometimes that is not as quick as we would like. Our God, heaven cannot hold him, and yet enough for him, a manger full of hay. We've got another hymn to listen to or to sing along with sung by St Martin's Voices. Thank you. 
we place this first candle, unlit, as a symbol of our darkness, to remember those we have loved and lost. Every Wednesday night here at Holy Trinity, we remember by name those who have died in the past 12 months and a few others important to us. So I'm going to place this candle down and I'm also going to place with it our list of names. And I invite you to remember your loved ones. We pause to remember them clearly, their faces, their voices, their bodies. We embrace and give thanks for the memories that bind them to us in this season of expectation when all creation waits for the light. I invite you to say with me, pray, pray with me. We remember them with love. May God's eternal love surround them. Place this second candle, unlit as a symbol of our darkness, to remember ourselves this Christmas time. We pause and remember the past weeks and months, and for some of us, years that may have been heavy with our burdens. We accept and lay before you, God, the sharpness of memory, the sadness and grief, the hurt and fear, the anger and pain. Forgive us when we feel unable to enter the joy that others embrace, locked in our own fears and anxieties. And also help us to understand when when our feelings are not sin, and do not need forgiveness, but simply understanding and acknowledgement. We remember that though we have journeyed far, and although while lost we may have turned away from the light, the light itself has not failed. Would you pray with me? We remember that though winter be upon us and though the night be dark, the dawn will come and dawn defeats the darkness.
we place this third candle, unlit, as a symbol of our darkness. For all those who have asked for our prayers or need our prayers. And I'm going to place our list from our own parish of those who've asked for our prayers. You might like to name others, perhaps even aloud. For all those we bring with us in our minds tonight, for all those who cannot be present themselves, for all those who are part of our consciousness. We bring before you, God, those whom we do not know, but for whom we grieve, whose lives are in darkness. Would you pray with me? We remember that in the midst of our own sorrows, others are suffering. Lord, walk us alongside those for whom we grieve tonight, for the victims of oppression and abuse, for the lonely, for those who feel themselves unloved or unlovable. Loving God, hear our prayers for Jesus' sake, and in the stillness of your love, answer us. We listen to the hymn, Silent Night, sung by Andy Clark of Engage Worship and used with permission. Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright, round yon virgin mother and child, holy infant so tender.
We placed unlit candles to represent the darkness we've brought with us this evening, the burdens we sometimes feel unable to carry alone, the fears we hold for the future, the pain of those whom we've come to remember this night. And we now take the light from the gospel candle and bring it to take away our darkness as we light each candle in turn. There should be words on the screen that you can say with me. Jesus Christ is the light of the world. We light this first candle to remember those whom we have loved and lost. The light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it. We light this second candle to remember ourselves this Christmas time. The true light, which enlightens everyone, is coming into the world. We light this third candle for all those who we bring with us in our minds tonight. Let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. The lighted candles are the open arms of Christ, ready to embrace us, to comfort us, to draw us ever closer into his love. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. In a moment we shall continue our service with a Eucharist of spiritual communion, but if you'd rather leave the service at that point, at this point, that's fine. Before you go, or if you're staying, let us greet one another in a virtual way with the peace of Christ. The peace of the Lord be always with you. As I lay the altar, we'll listen to just one verse which has been made freely available of the Fauntleroy Women's Ensemble singing Berlioz's Shepherd's Farewell. Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
It is right to give you thanks in sickness and in health, in suffering and in joy, through Christ our Saviour and Redeemer, who came to us as a vulnerable baby, and who as the Good Samaritan tends the wounds of body and spirit. He stands by us and pours out for our healing the oil of consolation and the wine of renewed hope, turning the darkness of our pain into the dawning light of his kingdom. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We praise and bless you, loving Father, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. And as we obey his command, send your Holy Spirit, that broken bread and wine outpoured may be for us the body and blood of your dear Son. On the night before he died, he had supper with his friends, and taking bread, he praised you. He broke the bread, gave it to them, and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When supper was ended, he took the cup of wine. Again, he praised you, gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. So, Father, we remember all that Jesus did. In him we plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross bringing before you the bread of life and cup of salvation, we proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes in glory. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Lord of all life, help us to work together for that day when your kingdom comes and justice and mercy will be seen in all the earth. Look with favour on your people. Gather us in your loving arms and bring us with our loved ones and all the saints to feast at your table in heaven. Through Christ and with Christ and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, O loving Father, forever and ever. Amen. Trusting in the compassion of God, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. God's holy gifts for God's holy people. Jesus Christ is holy. Jesus Christ is Lord. To the glory of God the Father. 
body and blood of Christ keep you in eternal life. Amen. I invite you to pray with me. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, refresh me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Let me never be separated from you. From the power of darkness, defend me. In the hour of my death, call me and bid me come to you, that with your saints I may praise you for ever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. God, our Father, whose word has come among us in the holy child of Bethlehem, may the light of faith illumine our hearts and shine in our words and deeds through him who is Christ the Lord. Amen. Again, we have a hymn, a carol, sung by St. Martin's voices. It came upon the midnight clear.
May the Holy One encourage you in all that life is, in all that weighs heavy, in all that delights. And may the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you this Christmas time and forevermore. Amen. Hear the good news of the birth of Christ according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Now the birth of Jesus the Messiah took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been engaged to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit. Her husband Joseph, being a righteous man and unwilling to expose her to public disgrace, planned to dismiss her quietly. But just when he had resolved to do this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. The Eucharist is ended. Go in peace.